how long have we waited for this? DJ have finally announced a C1 marked drone. Wow! But hold on a minute, there's a problem. I'll explain in the video. If this is the first time to one of my videos, then welcome. I do videos about drones and about the rules and regulations around them and how you can make the best out of your drone. If you enjoy it, then please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Remember that little bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video and uh, leave a comment about what you think about C1 class drones and, and the situation of them. DJI have just announced that they have agreed the C1 label for their Mavic 3 series drones. This has been agreed with the EASA regulator. The regulations that talk about C-Class drones came into force in January 2020, and there's been a transition period that was originally due to end in July 2022, but has actually been extended in Europe until the end of 2022. The massive bureaucracy that is the EU has managed to appoint a body to oversee the regulation of C-Class drones, and a manufacturer has managed to bring one to market that complies. Now that's not happened in the UK yet. One of the benefits of leaving the EU is that we no longer have to deal with this bureaucracy. This benefit goes along with the benefit of all our qualifications that we've studied for in the UK. So whether that be the basic flyer ID or whether that be the I2 CFC or a GVC qualification, none of these are valid in Europe. That means if you wanna fly in the EU, you need an additional qualification and the expense that goes with that. So because of this benefit and the UK now could be much more agile and do things its own way and not have to bow to EU law, this means that the UK has yet to appoint a body to oversee C-Class registrations and C-Class drones. I'm kind of wondering when it will happen. For the moment, the CAA has recommended that the transition period be extended, which is great news if you've got a legacy drone. It sounds fine, but actually a C1 class drone gives you many more benefits than a legacy drone. So what's so great about C1 drones anyway? Well, if you look at the Mavic 3, for instance, that about to get that classification in Europe, uh, you need a flyer ID and your operator ID, and then you can fly 150 meters away from residential or industrial areas. If you go and get your A2 CFC, you can then fly that drone in residential and industrial areas, but with a separation distance of 50 meters from people. Now the A1 subcategory, which is what the C1 class drone will allow you to fly in, basically you can fly in industrial areas and built up areas without a problem. And it takes away the need to have the A2 CFC. You just need a flyer ID and the operator ID, obviously to read the manual. So I'm wondering actually, um, if. DJI have now started to retro mark their drones. Do you think other drones are gonna now receive this as well? It's apparently through a firmware update, this uh, retro marking, but what, what would your favorite drone be that would get a retro C1 marking? Would it be the Air 2S or Air 2? I mean, there's not much point marking a sub 250 gram drone because it's, it's a, effectively a class zero anyway. So that doesn't really matter. But uh, what about some of the Autel drones? What about those? Do you think they'll get retro markings? Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, to see that the C1 drones are coming and then to discover that they won't be relevant in the UK, at least yet, it's a bit of a downer, to be honest. Um, I mean, we've been waiting for these for such a long time and then suddenly to realize that they're not actually gonna be um, relevant in the UK for the moment, it's not very good. But please don't shoot the messenger. If anything, give the messenger a subscribe, uh, a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Are you annoyed about it? Do you think it's kind of the start at least that we will eventually get a C1 class drone in the UK that's gonna be uh, approved by the UK to use? Tell me what you think. During the recording of this video, I learned that the Graham Degg had just done a blog on the same subject. And uh, reading the blog, that I'll put a link to in the description below. Um, what I learned is actually that in UK there is a company being set up called TUV Rhineland UK Limited that's based in Birmingham that shares the name with the company in Germany, TUV Rhineland. 
that is doing the European certification. So maybe this is a first step towards a company being appointed. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.